and welcome back to Tish Does Travel. And if the mouse is, haven't given it away, I'm back in Disneyland. Didn't think this was gonna happen again this year, but we made a promise to ourselves that if Newport Bay ever came up cheap enough on a deal, we'd just go ahead and book it. And you know what? The 20% off Disney Plus members deal came on and it meant that we could stay at Newport Bay and it wasn't ridiculously priced. So I'm so, so, so excited to be back in Disneyland and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So, not sure if this is gonna be a one-parter or a two-parter, but join me for three days in Disneyland, staying at the new Port Bay. And I am once again with my cousin and her fiance, Lee. And this time round, they actually wanna be on the vlog. Yeah. We didn't vlog bit, it last time. Bit. But these guys are die-hard Disney yeah. vlog fans, so you we're, know more than I do when it comes to yeah. how to film a Disney vlog. We're seasoned veterans, aren't we? Seasoned veterans. Yeah. So, if you want to see what it's like three days in Disney, also the weather is glorious, we'll talk about that a bit later, and find out what it's like to stay at Newport Bay, then please keep watching. And if you like travel content like this and Disney content, because any excuse to come to Disney and I will definitely be there, then please keep watching. And if you want to subscribe to never miss a video like this. Okay, let's go to Disney. So we just about made it in on our magic time, but to be honest, in the sunshine, it's so beautiful that we're like walking a bit slower, taking it all in. I don't think we've ever come in in the morning and it's been this bright, so it feels like a real treat. Um, we're gonna use the last of our magic time before the general admission, which is about now, to go on Thunder Mountain, because that's our absolute favorite. So got to start the trip on a good note, right? So we're starting with Thunder. Woken up yeah, from two needed, rounds that, really. of Big Thunder Mountain. So, what's the plan now? I, I want a snack and some coffee. Little little snack and a coffee. I think that's the plan next. And where are we heading for a snack and a coffee? Back to Main Street. Bypass the snacks for a photo because it's quite quiet at the moment. 
and it's so pretty. This is the spot that everyone always talks about to the left hand side of the castle. Um, so now it's snack time. Now we've nailed the photos. Let's go get those snacks. Mm -hmm. So we're feeling fully caffeinated, much better, ready to go again. I think literally those two rides on Thunder Mountain to get out of the three of us. So we're feeling a lot better now, had a bit of sugar. And we was going to head to, which we think is called Adventureland. I'm not too sure. No, no, no. No? This is Discovery Land. Discovery we Land. Heading to Fantasyland. Uh, okay, so we came to Discovery Land to do Buzz Lightyear but it currently says 20 on there, but the queue is out the door, so it's not 20. So now we're gonna make our way to Fantasyland um, and we're gonna do the long way round because they've shut the gate, that's where we've just come from. And we're gonna do some of the rides over there. And um, yeah, not sure what we're gonna do next. We'll kind of gauge on how long the queues are. Probably it's a small world, no doubt, so. but let's see. finished going on a small world because it just has to be done and then as we're in Fantasyland we're going on Casey Jr because it's open again it was closed the last time we come here and then we're going to go on the storybook ride too and see the new stories. Do you know what new stories they are? Um, I did see a YouTube video, I can't tell you, I think there's two new ones. I think one's Winnie the Pooh. I feel like it's controversial because they've gotten rid of like some of the best ones haven't they? I think some of the older classics they've gotten rid of, and then I've introduced new. Yeah, I think they've gotten rid of. Um, it's definitely something that's gone. We'll have to see if we can spot what's missing. Yeah, I thought we added. I think it, Winnie the Pooh has been added. Yeah, which is brand new. Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, yeah. I think Frozen's on there. I think Frozen was already there. No. We'll have to see. So we very nearly didn't do the boats because we thought it was going to be too long of a wait. It looked long. But we're really glad we did it and so there's loads, hang on, I didn't see Winnie the Pooh. No, but he was on the book. Did you see? Oh. Beginning of the book. So I don't know if I've just... Did we miss Winnie the Pooh? Or has Winnie the Pooh been removed? Maybe Winnie the Pooh's been removed. But yeah, I, to be honest, they all looked new to me. Frozen was definitely new. Frozen was new. Every post, Up was new. So it looked and I feel like yeah, I feel like they've completely changed it. But it was really nice. The aerial one was my favourite. I thought this Little Mermaid one was so nice. You like that one? Um, no, but that maybe they've just like because it had like flowing water. It was so pretty. I mean, this weather does make everything <laughs> look even more beautiful than it normally would. But we are so thirsty, so we're gonna try and grab a drink, and then I'm not sure what the next plans are. So um, pirates, pirates. Our favourite. Yep, so drink them pirates. So we are going to go ahead and do pirates, but it's 20 minutes. And I don't know, what's the longest we've ever waited for pirates? Probably about three minutes. We usually just walk straight on and we'll do it like multiple, multiple times. 
but it's the first time we've ever done Pirates of the Caribbean and it's looped all the way around the outside and at the moment it's okay because we're moving but don't know at what point we're going to stop. Honestly, Pirates of the Caribbean is our absolute favourite. I think it's not the most thrilling ride, but in terms of wait times and how good it is, it's our favourite. So we definitely will be going on that more over these three days, maybe even today. We'll have to wait and see. So it's about 2pm now. We've got dinner booked at Newport Bay and I want to make sure that I'm hungry for that. So I'm going to get something light to eat. I think I'm going to have um, some pulled pork balls if we can find it. That's the problem with Disneyland. You kind of know where these different places are that you can get food and then finding it, it's never in the place that you thought it was going to be. So I'm trying to find the cool post. So I'll update you if I find them. But yeah, hopefully if I eat now, then I'll be hungry again later. So it was the cool post, not the outpost. Yeah, cool post. And um, so these are the pulled pork. Some of them are really nice, but they're just not not hitting the spot. Give them a four out of ten. They're okay, but oh, like them. We, you like them? Out of 10. Okay. I feel like I don't know what's wrong. I I think it's the stuff on the outside is not crispy enough. very happy because we've been meaning to go to Victoria's like the last maybe every single time we've come yeah it's always been closed. it's always been closed I feel like it's closed quite a lot in winter they just don't even bother opening it it's really, cozy. it's really nice so we've uh, got our cold brew Lee's got his milkshake and um, it's actually it's really nice actually and I think considering we've seen on other people's vlogs that an iced coffee from uh, the Disney Hotel is like 16, something like 16 euros. Yeah, and people don't rate it like And this is eight, so I think this is quite good. I mean, saying an eight euro coffee is good value for money sounds a bit crazy, mm -hmm. but it's well. better value for money. Yeah. I've been working really hard recently and I said that this time at Disney I'd treat myself to something a little bit bigger than I'd normally buy so I wanted some jewellery to wear when I'm at Disneyland so there's loads and loads of jewellery I'll overlay some of the stuff that there is because there's some really really beautiful pieces but I decided that I was going to get a necklace and some earrings I was tempted by a bracelet as well but I think that's a bit OTT maybe I'll get a bracelet next time but I got these little dangly Mickey earrings and I also got this little necklace in the shape of the mini ears which I thought was so nice and I love my mini ears so I feel like it's very me and then I can wear those pieces every time I go to Disneyland so I'm glad I treated myself to that. We're just doing some shopping now. The last thing we went on, we actually haven't been on many rides. We're feeling very relaxed. We've got three days. We don't want to go too crazy. We're tired because we didn't sleep that well last night so we're not doing too many rides today. We're going to do a bit of shopping now. We're going to look around some more of the shops and then we're going to get back to check into Newport Bay ready for dinner this evening. So I'll show you around some of the shops because this is sometimes my favourite part about Disney is the shopping.
So we've just finished our meal at Newport Bay and it's not our favorite restaurant. We had high expectations because the hotel is so beautiful and the food was quite pricey and we was expecting really good quality food. And it was mostly the steak that let it down. So these two guys had steak. It was 45 euros for a steak and a microwave baked potato. So that was a tiny bit disappointing. I had fish, which was a little bit better and we liked our desserts, but it's not our favorite food that we've had. Our favorite food is at Captain Jack's, which we're doing tomorrow. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's a better meal. But we're just heading back into the park and we're gonna ride a few more rides before the park closes. We've only got like an hour to get over there and maybe ride a couple of others. And then I think it's an early night, ready for another big day tomorrow. Me? Lee would just like to tell everybody how much he enjoyed his the steak. The steak was terrible. <laughs> I was gonna say, so bad. No swearing no at Disney. Swearing <laughs> at Disney. So bad. Worst it was, steak I've ever no, had. No, I don't know if it's the steak. I don't know if it's the steak that was terrible. Or the dry accompaniment. It, it was the microwave baked potato that had a little slab of fake cheese on the top. <laughs> so what would you dry. score out? It was bad. What would you like, score out of 10? Minus 10. <laughs> it was <laughs> awful. Um. It's land day two. Let's go. And today is pretty much all going to be in the other park. It's, it's still studios at the moment, isn't it? Yes, so pretty much we're going to do a morning in studios. We're going to try and ride Crush's Coaster because when we came in May, we didn't even manage to do Crush's Coaster because it was always so ridiculously busy. So we're going to go there this morning, then hopefully Ratatouille, and then maybe Web Slingers, and then what else is there? Um, we'll see. Flight, maybe Flight Force, not cars. No, the spinning cars. Oh, a spinny cars. And um, yeah, if we can get those done, great. But I think that's a bit optimistic considering how quick the times go up over at that park. But I think... much a walk on for Crush's Coaster which we're very very pleased about and now hopefully we're going to have the same thing with Ratatouille. How was Crush's Coaster? It was good. It's good. so fast. It's so yeah fast spinny and yeah we were saying I just don't know how people wait like what is it up to sometimes like 90 minutes over 90 minutes like way, way over an hour for something that's just over like so so quickly um, so we think it's a tiny bit overrated, but it's still good fun and I'm glad we've done it. The true winner is undefeated. <laughs> I 
pushed through, I pushed through the pain to take that win. Once again, undefeated. One day, someone will challenge me. <laughs> well, I think that was a very successful morning. Yeah, we smashed that loads. We managed to do all of them that I said in that. So yeah, so we managed to do Crush's Coaster, followed by Ratatouille, followed by Web Slingers, followed by Flight Force. So really pleased that we got a lot of this park done and it is definitely snack time now. I fear we may have hit it a little bit too hard on the rides and then this afternoon we've struggled a little bit but we've been back and we've gotten changed and now we're on our way to the Jack Sparrow's restaurant, the uh, Captain Jack's restaurant which we're very very excited about. It's our favourite ride and our favourite place to have dinner so very very excited and then after that we're hoping fingers crossed we've got enough time to ride the ride after we've finished and then we've got reserved seating or reserved standing at fireworks, which we're very, very excited about. of our meal last night I feel like it redeemed it from the night before 
and then last night being able to see the fireworks in the reserved area was so magical we absolutely loved it the drones didn't go up but we don't feel disappointed at all because seeing the new firework display so we've been twice this year no once this year once at the end of last year and this was a new display for the fireworks so it's nice to see something a bit different and now it's our last day back in the parks and today I've got my tink ears on because Peter Pan is reopening and it hasn't been open since we've been here for the last three days it's reopening today and um, we're gonna go straight to the Peter Pan ride and then after the Peter Pan ride we're gonna do some of the, the fairy tale ones so we're gonna do Snow White, Pinocchio and we're very excited for our last day again in my whole life will we see Disneyland so untouched but basically they opened up a gate that let us go through almost basically first um, and now we're going through to go on um, Peter Pan's flight which we haven't done the last couple of times we've been here because it's just been so busy every single time and fingers crossed I think it's gonna be a walk-on so this will definitely be a first for us <laughs> I don't think you'll quite believe this, but <laughs> we're here, we're about to get on, and the ride's broken. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know whether it's gonna be working again. We might have to leave. It's so sad. we got to do that so it was only down for about 10 minutes um, and if you're ever on a ride and it goes down and you're at the front I know it's disappointing and I know it's annoying because you've gotten up early and you've used your magic time for that ride but don't be horrible to the people that work there there were um, there was a people beside us and they were kind of giving them a really hard time saying we've paid extra money to be in the hotels we've used our magic time what can you do? If the ride goes down, the ride goes down, but we're really, really pleased we got to do it. Yeah, as I said, only ate into our magic time for like 15 minutes. So we're on our way to Buzz, because that's another one we haven't got to do yet this weekend because it's been quite busy. And then from there, we'll see what else we can get done. Triangles, I apparently. Thought, no, wait. I thought we had to shoot triangles anyway. I thought that was just the option. No, but I feel like there's ones that are triangle shaped, and they're the most money. Okay. I think. No, because they're round. They're round normally, aren't they? Okay. You know, just doubled everyone's score. They can try and beat me, but it's great. <laughs> hey, you beat me last time, so I don't know why you're giving yeah, it that. I guess you got the hump. <laughs> you know what it is? I think it's the ones that are hidden behind things. You have to get the ones that are like behind stuff. That's what I was aiming for. Ha <laughs> ha 
That was the first time that we've all done Orbiton and that was so funny. Why was mine bouncing? I actually have no idea. That was, I, was <laughs> I thought everyone was gonna and then everyone was going really smooth and mine was just like bouncing. But yeah, that was good fun. Right. Hyperspace Mountain time. where we literally eat our way around So we've just been to this little area in Frontierland, it's where there's pin trading and we went in this shop and we weren't sure if we needed a ticket but we did ask and we didn't need one but we think there might have been an event on this morning where you get last chance pins but we've just been in and I got this one. Oh my, where did you see that one? It was in the top second from the, from the left. So nice. And we got these ones. That's such a good idea because you have one each. Yeah. And Lee got this Remy one, which I think is really, really special. Love that. Do you know what? I feel like that's one that you you can only get if you if you eat in the restaurant. It looks a bit fancy, doesn't it? Because I think you have to ask, and you can buy like certain ones. And I'll show. Oh uh, yeah. I've got Remy and a meal. <laughs> Marie with some pretty roses behind. And what did you put in last minute? I made I made my cousin buy me this. <laughs> and we got another plain um little pocket for That's to replace mine because it's a little bit. Yeah, you literally, you literally can't see anything through mine. But it was worth it and it's not always open. But we went was it yesterday we went and it wasn't open. That was so, I feel like it was a fun experience. Yeah, it was good. Right. Let's put the pins on. The plan is to make it to the bar, but we've flopped onto the sofas, lagging a bit. But we thought we'd stop into the Disney Hotel. And there is a shop and also a bar upstairs, so I think that's where we're going to head. Look at this chandelier. I actually can't comprehend how beautiful this is. I will stay here one day. Don't know when. <laughs> no, enough, it'll be next year. No, I would absolutely die to stay here, but obviously it's a lot of money and it takes a lot of saving, so it's probably going to be a special birthday.
smells so good. And it gives you fast sets. We've been so lucky with the weather. I feel like after four trips of non-stop rain, this is the weather that we've deserved. And yeah, we've got loads done. We've done all of our favorite things. We've eaten all of our favorite foods. And I just have to alliterate, I'm so pleased that I can do this with my cousin and her fiance. Obviously, I am very grateful to them to always let me kind of third wheel on their trips. But I have had the best three days in Disneyland Paris and I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. And until next time guys, see you later. And have a good day at Disneyland Paris.